What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, this video was very highly requested in my streams and in my comment section, and you guys were wondering how to make this glass lock build, okay? Now, it's not just any glass lock build, it's a glass lock build that gets stretch takeover, okay? So, I'm about to show you guys in this video how to make the build. What, my, what the badges are and you know really how to use this build and some gameplay of the build so if you guys enjoy anything in this video make sure to drop a like on the video let's give this video the 200 likes and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're literally less than 100 subs away from 15,000 subscribers and turn on post notifications because all the gameplay from this video is literally straight from my stream so if you guys want to watch my streams you know turn on post notifications so you see every time I go live now let's get straight into it okay guys so here we are in the my player builder now you're gonna want to make it a center center is just better than power forward and everything basically and then the skill breakdown is shooting and defense there's no other skill breakdown you should make as a center shooting and defense is always the best and then pie chart you want to go to the two uh pie charts with strength and go to the one that has faster speed you can go with the one with more vertical but uh, you're gonna get boards either way and uh yeah i think the faster speed one is just better uh, and then when it comes to uh, shooting, and by the way, the speed pie chart is why, why my center is so fast, to be honest. So the shooting, you're going to want to max out your mid-range, max the three-pointer, max the post-fit, and put the free throw down a little bit so you have, you still have a 17 shooting badges, but you're saving a couple little attribute upgrades. And then this is huge. Max out your playmaking, bro. Like, a lot of people ask why my center is so fast, and he's seven foot, and why I can dribble with him. I maxed the playmaking. So look at I already I get 10 playmaking, bro. That's gold quick first step on a center, bro, on a glass lock. And then when it comes to defense, you're gonna want to max your rebounding, obviously. So you can horse up, um, max the interior defense, max the block, uh, and then you want to max the steal so you can get in them lanes. And then uh, when it comes to lateral quickness and perimeter defense, uh, you can upgrade those. But we're gonna leave. There's gonna be a couple. Um, attributes that aren't filled all the way so we still get 23 defensive badges but just look at the end when i'm done upgrading the player just copy so driving lab will go up one max the driving dunk trust me that is going to be very worth it your player's going to dunk the ball a lot more instead of just laying it up like a lot of these other centers do but anyways here's the badge breakdown we get one finishing 17 shooting 10 playmaking and 23 defense and then when it comes to body shape you can really pick anything you want um low-key go burly or compact in my opinion I went compact and then height seven foot. There's no reason to go six eleven or shorter. Uh, seven foot is just fine. I'm still very fast and that's still very tall. And then when it comes to that weight, just go anywhere from 264 to 268 is honestly fine. Uh, but I went 264. And then when it comes to wingspan, this is how you get stretch takeover. Everybody asks how to get stretch takeover. So if you go like, if you see right here, the wingspan basically changes your takeovers. So if I just went default wingspan or minimum wingspan, look at there's a stretch takeover. But if I went like max, there's no stretch takeover. And if I went default, there's no stretch takeover. But I've, if I go one under default, I get stretch takeover. That's huge. And trust me, I don't see any difference in one under default. I don't get snagged. I don't see a difference with my wingspan being one lower. Um, and I still gain have a lot of shooting attributes so people that are going max wingspan are not only missing out on that sharp takeover but they're losing a lot of points in their three pointer and other stuff that they would lose from having a long wingspan and there is the glass lock build i made okay um and then when it comes to badges now i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh well he's a legend so he gets 10 extra badges in each category but I'm gonna show you guys what my badges look like without legend. But anyways, here are the attributes at 99. This is not 99.9. Look, I get a 90 block, a 65 steal, a 77 pass accuracy, a 75 three pointer. This build is honestly crazy. And if you check the speed, I had a 70 speed, bro. A 70 speed with a 99 strength. But anyway, so here's what my badges would look like without legend. I would just have bronze contact finisher on. Now, if you are a legend or ever get to legend this year, which you should be able to if you play the game when it's double rep, triple rep, quadruple rep, those are what my badges look like right there. Um, and then if shooting badges, um, if 
now I, you can change up the shooting badges every once in a while but if i didn't have legend well, let's just reset everything obviously the most important badges in my opinion is gonna be like quick draw put it on hall of fame bro put it on hall of fame uh green machine put it on hall of fame and by the way if you guys want my jump shot for this center build x just go to the description and there will be a link to my jump shot video uh, i use the same jump shot on all my builds but anyways hall of fame dead eye um i would go i would go hall or bronze catch and shoot actually to finish it off but yeah those are the badge setup i did before legend um honestly didn't really miss much but anyways this is what i uh, have after legend um and then playmaking this build gets 10 playmaking which is huge this is such an advantage oh my god without legend gold quick first step gold needle threader if you don't know what needle threader does it makes your passes your passes hella fast unpluckable on bronze and gold bailout plus remember i have 77 pass accuracy so gold bailout i'm passing out of everything and anything i want and then the silver badge left over at legend i honestly just put on anything because like there's really nothing else to put it on um so i'll just put it on dream shake actually you know what put on pass fake maestro because i pass up fake a lot i don't know if that does anything but whatever and then uh defense and rebounding so before legend to be honest um take off defense later take off clamps uh and i'll just run with this lineup now you can change the defense a lot so um actually since i'm legend now i'm actually going to change it up a little bit so we'll go hall of fame worm hall of fame defensive leader um and i'll actually put on pogo stick hall of fame and i'll put on bronze clamps to get the clamps animations but yeah that's what the badge setup is looking like so um yeah let's get into some gameplay so here we are man in the stage on my glass lock legend build first of all whoa y'all see me do that step back that's something that i kill a lot of people with because i have gold quick first step now i can, i usually go back the other way a lot too but i don't think i have any clips of that in these gameplays now in this uh this was actually on stream so once again turn on post notifications so you see every time i'm live streaming on youtube but uh anyways look at me killing them with that quick first step that is huge guys the playmaking bad is makes a big difference and i actually use no shot meter and if you guys want my jump shot the link will be in the description and by the way i'm playing with ermi he's another df member and he is actually not even using dimer in this gameplay he's using floor general but he's not using dimer so i'm literally shooting all these shots off no dimer and we actually ended up going on a 34 game win streak here in the stage on the 5k court so if you do the math that's a hundred and like seventy thousand bc and this build is really got like if you play with like an iso player it really makes the the defense respect your shot because they really can't help off and if they do help off it's a green every time like look at this kid's defense right here bro my boy ermy's literally going for rap he's flashy passing that and if you notice that flashy pass actually gave me a lot of takeover um now without the flashy pass because obviously that's giving a huge boost to my takeover if you guys don't know flashy pass hall of fame does that um if you get a flashy assist but anyways um without those flashy assists i would say takeover takes about three shots three and a half shots or maybe two shots and a rebound or two um which is very easy and when i do get takeover i can shoot from very deep like it is ridiculous i can also fade with takeover as well um but yeah i also don't ha see any problems with me like i've never had any problems like on the rebounds so if you guys are like scared that you're not gonna get a lot of boards with this build or you're gonna get horse i've if anything i'm the one doing the horsing i've never had a problem with, with rebounding and i've also had a never had a problem with finishing i know a lot of centers out there hate that their centers go up with layups and they don't even dunk the ball even when they're wide open my player dunks remember we upgraded our driving dunk um he doesn't dunk on people but he finishes in contact he finishes the rock and that's why i don't understand why people they're upgrading all this finishing where you don't need that if you upgrade the playmaking you are so much more lethal i can pass out of shots i can throw all types of lobs uh, i can dribble um it's really ridiculous with this build it really doesn't miss i think this sharp takeover is huge if you can make the same build you can choose rimmer uh glass takeover but i really recommend shooting takeover even when you don't have takeover so let's say right here for example i don't have takeover but my takeover meter is already halfway so that itself since i have sharp takeover helps me with shooting the ball so if you really think now obviously you can still shoot without the, the shirt shooting takeover but i'm just saying 
and it really makes a difference and like i said when i have shooting takeover i can literally shoot from like way back there if i really choose to um but yeah this build is really ridiculous if you guys enjoyed this video this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like let's get this video to 200 likes subscribe to the channel we're so close to 15k subs but look at me green it all the way back there man that really is crazy turn on post notifications so you guys see more bangers like this and so you see every time i go live it's been your boy double hdf and i'm out y'all peace i'm feeling your energy and shorty man she really into me I got lots of enemies, and they wanna act like they friends with me. I came up from bummy tees, now catch me just rocking Javanti.